Good PM sir, napanood ko ang video about MS Forms pero paano gayahin yung sa Google Forms na mag-auto-update sa spreadsheet? Pwede ba yun sa Excel? Kukuyin na natin. Let's try! Hello everyone, Sir Wes here from ISF Media and welcome back to our channel where we feature all the things about information technology that could be used to improve your task effectively and efficiently, especially in the world of teaching. Today, we're going to be focusing our attention again on Microsoft Office 365 applications, which the Department of Education is currently trying to engage to our working force. Our episode will be from a question we received a few days ago in our Facebook page, which says, Good PM sir, napanood ko ang video about MS Forms pero paano gayahin yung sa Google Forms na mag-auto-update sa spreadsheet? Pwede ba yung sa Excel? For everyone who's watching, if you also have questions that you'd like us to answer or tasks that you'd like us to replicate and simplify, please share them with us by sending your messages to our Facebook page at Integrated School Forms. Okay, so the question is trying to ask us how to replicate the online and real-time updating of MS Forms responses, which is similar to Google Forms that updates the responses immediately to its Google Spreadsheet counterpart. I guess our questioner here is using MS Forms as a survey tool or a data gathering tool and would like to monitor the responses without downloading the responses sheet every time. This is actually pretty easy and in fact, is a bit tricky that you really need to explore almost everything about MS Forms and MS Excel online to discover how to do this. But because we're here to help you out, let us demonstrate the problem our questioner encountered and how to fix it. But before everything else, we would like to ask everyone to support our channel here on YouTube by clicking the subscribe button down below to stay updated with our latest videos and announcements. Like and share our videos so that you can assist your friends and colleagues with a number of tips and tricks they could learn from us too. That being said, let's begin. So for example, you created a form using MS Forms from office.com just like this one. Let's go ahead to the preview option so that we can proceed to submit a sample data. Now we're done with that, let's go back to our form structure and head on to the responses tab and view the result. As we can see here, the data has already been saved and we have the Open in Excel option over here if we would like to view it on a spreadsheet. But as many would encounter, every time they click this button, the MS form results would be downloaded as an Excel file to their laptops. This would imply that if you'd like to see the updated results from your responses, you must download the Excel file all the time. And there's a lot of inconvenience with this process because if you're using your mobile phones, downloading a copy of these results would take a chunk of your memory storage and most of all, you need to repeat the downloading process every time you need to view the results. In order to fix this, or should I say prevent this, you need to decide how you'd like to gather the data prior to creating the form itself. If you think you will mostly use your laptop in gathering the data from your forms, then it would be somewhat okay to stick to downloading the responses every time. But if you're like me who monitors the responses and results every now and then to see the progress and timeliness of the data that I need to gather, then you should not create a form using the MS Forms tab here in Office Online. What you need to do from the very start is to go to your OneDrive account and create a form from there. So let's head to our OneDrive account here from our office.com window, which is right here in the Apps tab on the left, and then click the OneDrive shortcut icon here. Now that we're in the OneDrive tab of our account, go to New and click on Forms for Excel. Let's name our new form as Sample Registration Form. Don't be alarmed that the extension signature of our form is structured as a .xlsx file, which is the file extension for Excel. Yes, we are supposed to start a form, but since our end goal would be to have it stored in Excel online, therefore OneDrive treated our task to be focused on the data gathering and processing instead of just having it as a basic form or tool in our workflow. So what do I mean by that? 
We'll explain that later on. For now, click the Create button and wait for OneDrive to open a Forms window. As you can see, there is nothing different in the Forms window we have here with the generic MS Forms we use under Office.com. Let us start making our questions first with the same ones we had previously. Now we're done with that, I would like to point out a minor discrepancy here in our design window. First is here in the upper right part of the window. There are instances where the style option here is replaced with the theme option. This happens when the site loads with a previous memory from your browser, also known as caches. If that happens, just refresh your form's design view window or wait for the Microsoft website to save and load the new design view structure. For those who have the style view option already, just choose any theme or style you'd like to implement in your form's design right here. I'll just choose randomly as this is merely a demonstration. As I'm done with that, I'll head on to the preview window here to encode sample data for this form we created. We'll click on the submit button here to save our data for this example. And that's it, our response is already recorded. Let's click the back option here to return to our design view. Here in the responses tab, a total count of submissions is already indicated. Since we only submitted one sample, it indicates one here. The responses tab also shows the summary of all responses made in our form, but we are primarily concerned with the data gathering. This is where MS Forms and Forms in Excel greatly differ. When we click the Open in Excel option over here, instead of downloading an Excel file on your laptops, Forms in Excel will create an online Excel file summary on a new window. Now all of your responses will be recorded here on real time. Every time someone should submit a response in your form, it will be immediately shown here. Let me test it out again to show you. I'll go to the preview option here and encode another data. I'll click on the submit button to record it. And then let's check the Excel online and see if it's there. And there you go. The Excel spreadsheet immediately updates itself in real time. However, you need to remember one crucial thing here. Since this is Forms in Excel and not MS Forms, the form you created will be recorded as an Excel file and not as an MS form. What does that mean? If you go back to OneDrive, the file is registered as an Excel template, which means if you accidentally close this form design view, you will be unable to share the form itself with others. Because every time you open the file here, it will open the Excel summary for your form and not the form itself. That is why before you decide to close your form design, be sure that you're already satisfied with its structure and most importantly, you share the URL link for the form with others already. Pro tip! Every time you make a form using forms in Excel, in the design view, always keep a copy of its URL and save it anywhere you are convenient. I usually save the URL on my notes here on my laptop so that I can still have the option to edit the contents of my form in case I forgot a specific data that needs to be included. That way, I don't need to worry that OneDrive only kept my forms as an Excel template without access to the form design view anymore. That's about it for this video and I hope this answers our question for today. So what do you think of Microsoft's structure and implementation with MS Forms and Forms in Excel? Do you think it's convenient enough? Or do you find it troublesome compared with Google Forms? Please let us hear your thoughts by posting your comments down below. This is Sir Wes of ISF Media, always reminding everyone to keep all of your tasks simple, efficient, and ambitious. See ya!